Well, while I'm out here doing my chores, I'll kind of bring you along on what what will happen in these little videos. I've had a bunch stored up this past year and just haven't put them together yet. So, first one we got is back in the spring. Bought a new bow. Bought some new arrows, and I wanted to put together some turkey arrows, some fletch, some big flu flu arrows. So I found this turkey guillotine broadhead there at the bow shop, and I wanted, I've always wanted to try to shoot a turkey in the head with my bow during spring turkey season. A big old gobbler come in and take his head right off. So, about to see here, I'm gonna set me up a little bottle, some water, and simulate a turkey head, and well, you'll see. I got me a water bottle down here that's full of water hanging off the tree and that's going to stimulate a turkey's head. We're going to put these rod heads on. The packaging recommends you use a 75 grain field point with the guillotine cutter head. So we're going to get it installed here. We're going to see what it'll do. Pretty excited. Always try to make the blades of the any broadhead match with the feathers. As you can see, it's a two and a half inch cutting surface. And I had to order longer arrows because my carbon hunting arrows were too short to extend past my fingers. You know, you don't want this thing cutting off your finger basically when you're holding your bow and shooting. So. Had to order some longer ones, pick some cheap shafts just to play with and see how they did. We're about to see. There's the red bottle. Got the GoPro down there. We're gonna pop one in here and see what kind of destruction. this thing has. So this is the four four feather fletching. Zoomed out. Hopefully, the turkey head flopping around. So that was the four feathered uh, flu flu. As you can see, after it blew through, it just went, you know, ten more yards and was laying on the ground. That's what these flu flus are designed to do: is just help slow it down. But I did want them powerful enough to give some knockdown on that turkey head. Um, so I'm going to get another water ball hung up and shoot the three feather, but I, don't, I think it's going to be about the same results. And then we'll be ready to hit the woods and get this one resharpened. And see if we can't shoot one right in the pecker. Hey guys, pretty crazy, huh? Um, fortunately, this past turkey season sucked and I didn't get a shot at one with my bow or shotgun. It was pretty poopy. But <clears throat> I'm anxious to see, maybe this year we'll see what happens. So anyway, thanks for watching.